Demo 4.8 Convert Purchase Requisition to Purchase Order In this demo, we will convert a previously created purchase requisition into a purchase order. We can either use the SAP Easy Access menu to navigate to the transaction to create a purchase order, or we can enter the transaction code ME21N directly in the command field and then click on Enter. In this demo, we will use the SAP Easy Access menu to access the transaction. First, expand the Logistics menu by clicking on the triangle next to the label. In the Logistics menu, expand the Materials Management menu. In the Materials Management menu, expand the Purchasing menu. In the Purchasing menu, expand the Purchase Order menu. In the Purchase Order menu, expand the Create menu. Finally, select ME21N, Vendor Supplying Plant Known Transaction. The system displays the Create Purchase Order screen. The first time this transaction is accessed, the Document Overview is turned off, that is, it is not visible. Turn the Document Overview on by clicking on the Document Overview On button. The system displays the Document Overview area on the left side of the screen. This is where documents relevant to purchasing, such as purchase requisitions and purchase orders, are displayed. Note that there are no documents listed in the area. To view a list of relevant documents, click the Selection Variant icon. The system displays options for the Selection Variant. Note the different types of documents that can be displayed in the Document Overview. Select My Purchase Requisitions as the selection variant to view existing purchase requisitions. Selecting any of the other choices will lead to a search screen that is used to find the desired documents. In our demo, we will search for a specific requisition, the one created in a previous demo. To search for a requisition, click on Purchase Requisitions. The system displays a screen that is used to search for purchase requisitions. Enter the desired criteria and click Enter to validate the data. Then click the Execute button to execute the search. In this demo, we will search for the purchase requisition created in a previous demo. To conduct this search, input the purchase requisition number 10000043 in the appropriate field and click Execute. The system displays the results of the search. In this demo, Purchase Requisition 10000043 is listed in the Document Overview area. This requisition will be the source document for the purchase order. That is, data in this requisition will be used to create the purchase order. Refer to the text for a discussion of source documents. To convert this purchase requisition to a purchase order, click on the Purchase Requisition number in the Document Overview window and then click the Adopt icon. Note that double-clicking the purchase requisition number will prompt the system to display the requisition rather than to utilize the data in the requisition to create a purchase order. When the selected requisition is adopted, the system automatically transfers the data in the purchase requisition to the Create Purchase Order screen. The system also provides alerts regarding any additional data that are needed. Note the alert in the lower left of the screen indicating that we need to add a purchasing organization. The next step then is to enter the necessary data to complete the purchase order. Enter the purchasing organization in the Perch Org field if it is known. Otherwise, search for one by clicking on the icon next to the Perch Org field. The system displays a list of available purchasing organizations. Double-click on the desired purchasing organization to select it. In our demo, we will select US00, GBI, US as the purchasing organization. 
The system will copy the purchasing organization code into the Perch Org field. Click Enter to accept this data. Notice that the system has removed the alert regarding the purchasing organization from the lower left area of the screen. Note that the screen is divided into three areas, header, item overview, and item detail. Close the areas that are not necessary by clicking on the respective icons. In our demo, we will close the item detail area. However, the system might display additional alerts after we input the purchasing organization data. After the purchasing organization data are provided, the system displays an alert that a vendor must be specified for this purchase order. If you know the vendor number, then enter it in the Vendor field. To search for vendors, click the search icon next to the Vendor field. In our demo, we will search for a suitable vendor. The system displays a screen to search for a vendor. Provide the desired search criteria and click Enter. In this demo, we will display all the vendors. The system displays the first 500 vendors that are defined in the system. Double-click the desired vendor to select it. In our demo, we will select Olympic Protective Gear. The system copies the selected vendor number into the Vendor field in the Create Purchase Order screen. To determine if the purchase now contains all of the necessary data, click Enter. The system will provide alerts if additional data are necessary. Continue to input the required data until the system no longer issues alerts. Then click the Save icon to create and save the purchase order. In this demo, the system has indicated that everything is complete and no additional alerts are displayed. When the purchase order is created and saved, the system automatically generates a purchase order number, which it displays in the message area at the bottom left part of the screen. Note that the system also displays a blank Create Purchase Order screen to create additional purchase orders. Return to the SAP Easy Access menu by clicking the Back, Cancel, or Exit icons at the top. In this demo, the system has created purchase order number 45000022. When the purchase order is created, the system updates the purchase requisition with data about the purchase order. We now return to the previously created requisition to review the updated data. To view the purchase requisition, navigate from the SAP Easy Access menu to the transaction to display a requisition. The menu path is Logistics, to Materials Management, to Purchasing, to Purchase Order, to display. The transaction code is ME53N. The system displays the Display Purchase Rec screen. To display a specific requisition, click on the Purchase Requisition menu. In the Purchase Requisition menu, select Other Requisition. The system displays a select document window. Enter the desired purchase requisition number. In this demo, we will enter requisition number 1000043. The system displays the purchase requisition. To view the status of the purchase requisition, click the Status tab in the Item Detail area of the screen. In the Status tab, the PROC status field is PO created, indicating that a purchase order has been created for the item in the requisition. The Status tab also displays the purchase order number 45000000022 associated with the item in the requisition SHRT1000. It further indicates that 500 of the item were ordered. Double-click the purchase order number to view the purchase order. The system now displays the purchase order. Thus, it is possible to move from one document in a process to another. Note that the header area of the purchase order is closed, whereas the item overview and item areas are open. The item area displays details of the line item selected, SHRT1000. 
The Item Details section includes various tabs. The Condition Value tab is currently visible. It displays the different pricing conditions used to calculate the price of the material. Refer to the text for an explanation of conditions. Finally, note that there is no tab with the title Purchase Order History. As steps in the procurement process are completed, the process order history is tracked. At some point then, the system will create a tab to display this history. Demo 4.8 Convert Purchase Requisition to Purchase Order